Hi everyone, welcome to the episode of Root Country. So in this week's episode, we're going to talk about sun and Hoya. So typically, Hoyas are pretty versatile plants. So let's begin, let's take a look at some of the Hoyas that uh, have dual colours and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Take a look at this Namoroides. How you can tell that it has intense sunlight is that the leaves are starting to turn a little bit redder. And also you can see some of the sunburn spots that it's having over here. And next we're going to look at one that is growing shaded. And so this is grown under a depot or shaded environment where they do receive a bit of morning sun. The leaves are greener and you don't see the sunburn spots that we saw just now. And if you can see here, they have shown some of their arrow roots coming out. But if you saw the previously, the other one, most of the arrow roots have already dried out due to the intense sunlight. And so this is the Hoya Condata. Under intense sunlight, they do show a bit of reddish coloration. So this one has a bit more direct sunlight, but not intense in a sense that they would totally turn red. So we're going to see one that is grown under slightly shaded condition and you can see the leaves are totally green. So this is a classic Hoya Condata where the leaves are not red but on the green side. And sometimes in shops or even in nurseries, you can see two different coloration. So they are actually the same plant, just under different intensity of light. And so this is a Hoya Sawara. So this is one that has grown under shade and you can see that its leaves are on the greener side. So we're gonna see one that does not grow under shade but more in the intense sunlight. This is another Hoya Sarawa. And you can see under intense sunlight, the reddish coloration is starting to show and also the veins are more intense. This is an example of how this plant received less sunlight and it ended up having light green leaves. Hoya and Paralis are sun-loving plants and so during the monsoon season which occurred in November and December we had received less amount of sunlight for this section of the grow area. But here you can see the new growth are starting to have a large green colour and that's because it's been receiving more sunlight. So now to conclude this video we have taken a look at some examples of how the sun intensity affects the different coloration of the Hoyas as we looked at the Kondasa the Sarawak, the Namoroides. And also looking at the Hoya Imperialis, where a little bit less sunlight had caused it to be slightly on the lighter green side. So do let us know in the comment section below how your Hoya turned out in your different environment. We'd love to hear about it.